What is going on everyone, Jason here Waddle, and welcome back to another desk setup video. It's been over a year since I made my last desk setup, but with me moving back into LA, I figured now's the perfect time to show you my brand new desk and all the brand new gear that I got for the desk. Basically what you see right here right now in front of me is everything that's going to be part of this main desk setup. But without further ado, let's get into this desk setup video. Now the first component for this desk setup is of course the desk that I got. It's a standing desk called the Levenger Right Height Desk and I was able to get this desk for only $65. Caviar to this price is that one, I actually purchased this through resale. So with the OfferUp app, I was able to get this from another person who just didn't need this desk anymore. And two, part of the reason on why this desk was so cheap is because this desk required a lot of assembly. I didn't film myself building this desk but this desk took over an hour to build. Thankfully, when I did buy this desk, it came with a manual, so I was able to figure everything out by myself. Now, the desk itself is actually pretty awesome. So if I'm standing and I'm doing work, I can obviously raise the height of the desk and I'm able to work like this. Or on the other hand, if I'm really tired, I can actually move this desk all the way down to somewhere like this height. This is actually the first time I'm using a standing desk, so I have no clue how well it will be in the long term. But overall, what I've been doing with my standing desk is I've been standing for an hour and then sitting for an hour to do work. But yeah, if you can get a standing desk for cheap, I would definitely strongly recommend it. Alright, now moving on to the next item that we have here is actually going to be my lamp. This is just a box. It's empty. There wasn't a lot of setup to it. The lamp right there is actually on my desk right now. And I've been using this lamp for around a week or so as well. When I purchased this lamp, I believe it was $35 off of Costco. And overall, I really enjoy this lamp a lot. Just because one, it's pretty flexible. Two, there's a lot of modes to it. So I'm able to change the color of the light as well as the brightness. There's also a charging feature in this light as well in which I can charge my phone wirelessly. And that actually saves a lot of space for my desk setup as well. And finally, it's a really small feature but I like that there's also a clock on the lamp which I guess in a sense saves me more room in which I don't need to add another clock in front of me but yeah this lamp comes in two different colors black and white I chose the black one and I just felt like the black one was a lot sleeker on my desk so I stuck with this one next item on the list for my desk setup is actually going to be my mouse. This is actually a really fancy mouse. This is called the Logitech MX Master 3. I believe this is the most advanced mouse that Logitech has ever came up with. And part of the reason why I got this mouse was because of video editing. So I feel like this mouse has definitely helped with my productivity when it comes to making YouTube videos. Just because when compared to other computer mice, I feel like this mouse has a lot more functions. Since regular computer mouses, they only have two buttons and a scroll wheel. But this one, has not only the two buttons, the scroll wheel, it also has a side scroll wheel as well as side buttons that you can use. And moving on to the keyboard, right now what I have right here is basically the matching keyboard to the mouse and that is the Logitech's MX Keys. I bought the Mac version because I own a Mac but overall I've been reading a lot about this keyboard and I feel like it's definitely going to be the most suited one for me just because unlike the previous keyboard that I had this one actually connects via Bluetooth and I feel like the design of this matches my desk setup really well. Additionally this keyboard is also really helpful for me because I have an iPad too and if I'm really busy and I want to multitask, I can connect this keyboard to my iPad and work from there as well. With this keyboard, I technically don't need one of those magic keyboards that Apple has to offer. I think the best part about this is to be able to open this up and see what's inside. Pretty slick box actually. So this right here is actually very, very light. Ooh. That looks pretty sick right here. Now unlike my previous keyboard, this keyboard actually isn't a gaming keyboard, so I won't be really able to play a lot of games, not that I do that anyways. But yet the design of it is very slick. I like it a lot just from first glance. They also gave a USB, just in case if I ever wanted to connect with that. And they have more wires in this box, which I technically don't really need. 
Next thing I want to set up, I guess, will be the chair that I use that accompanies my standing desk. As some of you gamers might know, this is a GT racing chair. Even though I'm not really a gamer, I do know from previous experiences is that gaming chairs are really nice to sit on. So I think it's really good for me to go out and invest $100 into a gaming chair. But yeah, I was able to get this chair for 40% off through like a mid-year sale that they had. And yeah, I have to see what I have to do to assemble this. Oh boy, that is a lot of stuff we have to do. I've been assembling so much stuff over the past like two weeks, it's kind of ridiculous. That took so long to assemble, I can't believe it. But I'm really glad that I get a chair to just lie down and relax if I ever needed it. But one thing I will say though, this chair is pretty comfy to sit in. That's so nice. And now finally, for my last item that I have to set up for the desk, and that of course is a second monitor. Because let's be honest here, no setup is complete without having an extra monitor so you can double your productivity. Now the monitor that I picked up right here is the LG UHD 4K monitor. This thing actually retails for $400. However, I was able to save a lot of money and only pay $60 for it. Why? I'll get to that after I set it up. But this actually is pretty much the same monitor that I got when I did my very own desk setup for my own bedroom. However, what makes this one different and a lot more expensive is because, after all, it's a 4K monitor rather than a 1080p UHD monitor. Now, I don't know a lot about the specs and stuff for monitors, so I kind of just left that up to my friends to let me know on if this is good or not. But yeah, let's open up this package up and finish this setup. That's pretty clean right here. That looks pretty sick, not gonna lie. I'm glad I'm able to finish everything here and get settled in for my second week of class. So now you might be wondering, how was I able to get the monitor for basically $60? And with that, I'm actually using Best Buy's Geek Squad replacement plan for them. So how this works is basically, I pay the full price for all of these items, but then I tack on this replacement plan, which usually it'll be around a dollar a month or less than that. And with this replacement plan, I actually get to turn in all of the electronics that I buy and have them basically replace two to four years down the line. So because I already have some credit at Best Buy, I figured why not to use this credit and basically get a refund for the original price of all the stuff that I buy. I would say the downside of doing this is you still have to pay like the full price for it. But I believe by replacing everything over two years, it's a smart way to go about things. So even though I am spending technically more money right now, in two years when I get to trade in everything so I can buy newer stuff, I'll be able to in a sense make all of my money back. But yeah, if you're a college student and you're living basically in a brand new city like me, for just two to four years, I strongly suggest you guys to use the Best Buy replacement plan and be able to just trade in all your tech stuff when you graduate. All of the products that I've showcased today will be in the description of this video, so if you're interested in any of these, make sure to check out the link down below. But other than that, I want to wish you guys all a waddle day, and we'll see you in another video. Peace.